What you just saw was a preview of one of the iterations that could be featured in the teaser trailer to come. Now just to be clear, the character models in this video are placeholders, and this clip is of many iterations. What's up everybody, Durek back at it again with another video on SRT, or Special Response Team. It's been about three months since they started production, so I thought that I would go check up on them to see what's been going on. The developers were actually generous enough to send me some things to share. But before I get into that, for those of you that don't know what SRT is, it is essentially a story-driven SWAT game that follows the story of a Brad Taylor, the lead officer in the town of Ridgeview. It follows him as he deals with things that could be traumatizing. That's just the gist of it, but I'll that for another video. For now let's just talk about things that have come out so far. So in the beginning I had said that there were character models that are in the video that are placeholders. I know this because they've actually shown off their version of a SWAT officer, which can be found in their Discord. This iteration of their version of the SWAT officer is looking interesting. It kind of has that sort of gritty looking feeling to it, which I really like, but of course it's a work in progress so it's not fully complete, but I gotta say that it is coming along nicely. I've seen a lot of their character models, but obviously I'm not allowed to show off all of them, but let's move on to their version of the Glock. The developers of SRT really like their Glock. I mean, I can't really knock it because it does look good. The developer that I was talking to was actually saying that they have some very talented modelers and that they have been working profusely to make some really good looking guns. So I can't wait to see what they actually look like in the future. They also sent me the prototype of a taser called the X26C, but in the game it's called something different. They have created around 56 props. Here are some just to name a few. 38 revolver, AC helmet, AK-47, apartment interior mesh, AR-15, ballistic shield, battering ram, bed and blanket, breaching shotgun, cell phones, chairs, combat knife, more chairs, cruiser retexture, and a desk. They also added a new vehicle to their collection. There's just a few props, I'm sure there's a lot more to come out. So now let's talk about some mechanics and features that have been added to the game so far. One feature that the developer shared with me is that you're going to be able to open doors in multiple ways. Quote, our player controller not only changes the weapons with multiple attachments and two types of reloads, he can also interact with doors that will have multiple closing states to be able to open them gradually and throw in a flashbang. That's what he said to me as he sent this video. Speaking of flashbangs, here's a video of the developer showing off the implementation of the flashbang. Alright, hello guys. Um, we're gonna be showing off the flashbang and stuff and things I changed. Um, fix the uh, aiming shot thing that uh, Smoggy was having trouble with. It's not going back to... It's not glitching out the animation. E except uh, when you return back, it's a bit snappy. It just needs a little bit of polishing. Like that. Okay, anyways, the flashbang. Uh, throw it over there. We're gonna be far away. This is far away. Then really close up. Where is it? I can't see. Uh, oh, well, couldn't see that one. Uh, really close up. That's what it's gonna happen. Super close up. That's what we get. Really long duration. You can kind of see what's going on. Not really. All right. very punishing, I imagine, in the game. And anyways, uh, I added sound classes for deafening all other sounds in the game. Deafen. There you go, the sound came back for the gun. Um, so, I'm gonna show you guys how this all works out. Um, so first, it's the flashbang projectile. It's gonna run through here, it's the delay till it explodes, uh, this'll do the whole explosion effect, 
then uh, over here this will check the different or distance it'll check the distance um, and it'll determine how strong the values of the flash will be uh, this right here is just for the bouncing sound um, then uh, it'll go to this event over here which will uh, this will all go through and uh, check this right here will check if the uh, explosion was on screen and uh, once it uh, if that's true if the explosion was on screen then uh, it'll go through the post process set settings uh, you know this I have it set to change your screen to black and white and stuff um, or the scene capture it'll change the capture component to uh, black and white so you'll get a black and white picture on your screen uh, you guys can change that I don't know what you guys want uh, but uh, anyways uh, this will go to the widget which is for the flash that's what gets the whole burned image effect is the widget which I created right here uh, uh, you guys uh, if there's uh, already a main widget that we're using then uh, somebody's gonna have to merge it because I have no clue but uh, if we don't then we can just start it off with the flashbang UI uh, so that gets the whole effect and then uh, sound classes um, I got that over here um, in the sounds so uh, this mixer right here this will this changes this is the master sound so any sound cues that you guys put in any sound cues these earring cues or uh, earring cues since this is the ear ringing uh, it's not gonna be the master the master is like ambient noise birds tweeting in the background that type of thing footsteps anything like that uh, this is set to explosion class because this is a deafening effect it's going to play over top of everything else it's gonna deafen everything else the earring so same with uh, same with the explosion is also going to be explosion then um, the bounce the grenade bounce this, since it's not deafening, it's going to be SRT, the SRT master that I created. This will be the master sound class that we'll be using. Um, so yeah, any new sounds you create, anything that uh, is ambient noise, anything that's not deafening, like a reload sound, anything like that, you want to change the uh, sound cue to SRT master, or change the sound class to SRT master, which is right here. You're just going to change it right there. But uh, yeah, anyways... The values on that aren't totally correct, they're all work in progress for the, the uh, sound classes, but uh, yeah, that's what I got so far. Um, I guess I'm going to start working on the uh, Sniper on the Roof system next, uh, get that uh, Sniper Elite style camera, I don't know. Alright, gonna um, push the project now, see you guys. I find it fascinating seeing how these features work, and seeing the ins and outs of how they're implemented. Now towards the end of the video, he talked about a sniper implementation. Here is that video. Okay, sniper prototype. There's the sniper, there's the target, the target's gonna move, and uh, that white line trace is the sniper trying to spot the target, because he's in the field of view of the sniper, but um, it's being blocked so he doesn't actually spot the target but uh, once this guy moves out out of cover he gets highlighted the sniper can see him now and now the player the player can see him and uh, can see him through the walls so if I was breaching in here and the sniper spotted somebody walk by a window or something he get highlighted for you and uh, this is where you can uh, press a button or something and options would come up of uh, what to do to the target or what to do with the target if you want somebody to move up on him or anything like that or for the sniper if you want um, this is where you can uh, tell the sniper to take him out and uh, most likely you'd probably he'd probably be in another room so this is where you try and take him out and there he goes he is down Right, that's pretty much what there is so far. This is just a basic prototype, of course, and um, yeah. Seems pretty neat. I later received more clips that show off how you, the squad leader, command your AI units.
quote. We want to get multiple options into our squad leading interaction menu to let the player command the other officers and tell them a variety of things, such as multiple entry options, like kicking in the door and throwing a flashbang, SWAT 4 style, or using a tactical camera under the door to see what's happening. Other tactical options will be setting the sniper on the roof, which is the previous video that I just showed you, shutting the power off and going night vision, hacking the camera system of the building, and more that will be shown in the upcoming teaser. But of course, they still need more work, testing, and polishing. And that's basically where he left it off. So after about three months of development, it seems like they've come a long way. I'm honestly shocked with all the things they've shown off so far, especially the stuff that I'm unable to show. I can only imagine what this game is going to look like a year out, especially with all the talent that they have. Although they did tell me that they could use some more help, which means that they're going to have to find some way to fund their project. Well, whichever way they decide to go, I want to wish them the best of luck. And with that, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.